I want to discuss with you for a second uh, the aspects of transport of the generated energy. There are undersea collection cables. They connect multiple turbines in a wind facility and transport electricity to a transformer. This combined electricity coming from several turbines are converted, first of all stepped up and then converted to high voltage for transmission via undersea cables. And it goes to a substation. Then it goes and can be connected to onshore electricity grid. Subsea cable construction is a three core. It's a single cable containing three phase conductors inside an external covering. We will talk about a cable in a couple of minutes, but first of all, I would like to show with you the, the equipment and the operation associated with cabling, which is a tremendous important, tremendously important aspect when we design an offshore wind farm. The top picture is divided into four sections. We can see the cables from each turbine to a um, power station called first degree uh, substation. There are several degrees, stages of substations. Each of them has step up transformers and a very, very uh, large, big diameter of cable. The blue line, the heavy blue line, is connected between the substation and the onshore substation. So from, the, from the last high voltage offshore substation, over several kilometers, there's a transmission cable that takes upon itself the entire power of the farm, goes all the way to the shoreline and to the onshore substation. And then it's connected to the grid. The picture on the right just gives us an idea and a feel how a cable looks like. And the picture on the left, that particular ship, which is specifically designed to lay down uh, the heavy transmission cable. We can see the roller, we call it a roller. That roller rotates very, very slowly as the ship advances, as the ship flows. The cable is being drawn back and should be a perfect correlation between the speed of the ship, the currents and the waves of the sea, and the release of the cable. If there is no correlation, if there is no synchronization between the speed of the ship itself, the waves and the currents of the water, and the release of the cable, the ship will be turned upside down. It's a very dangerous and sensitive operation. Let's look at a cross section of a power cable. And we see three conductors. Each of them is isolated and they're all, all packaged in an uh, envelope, polypropylen envelope. And just for the feel of it, the total diameter of the cable is approximately 25 to 30 centimeters. The weight of each meter is about 130 to 150 kilograms. We can see the conductors. We can see the fillers. There are three conductors with the insulation layers. But there are fillers all around. The fillers are in order to keep it a round shape package. The blue cable is the communication cable. So we have three main power cables and a communication cable that runs within the package. This is specifically designed for offshore. In many cases in onshore, the communication cable will be separate from the main power cable. But because of the high cost and the long distance 
of the transmission line in offshore, we combine the entire cabling into one package, the main power and the communication into one package. And this is a specific picture of a cable related to offshore. It contains an optical fiber, we can see it specifically, 25-30 centimeters diameter. Onshore wind farms cables have a separate cable laid in the same trench as the MV cables. So in onshore, we dig a trench and we run two cables in parallel, like we just said before, but they will be within a trench. In onshore, as we can see, it's only one package. This cable should be very, very flexible. So the pro polypropylene cover of the cable should be very, very flexible and has a strain relief mechanism along it. The reason, in the process of laying down the cable, the cable itself change its structure in order to avoid breakage, in order to avoid stress conditions on the connectors, we need a flexible cable. So not only that it's 25-30 meters diameter, but it should be flexible as well. This is very, very costly item.